hello viewers welcome back to mission our channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today on this channel we'll be talking about how to book for your u.s visa appointment from any country of the world it doesn't matter if you're in nigeria you are in kuwait you are in afghanistan pakistan you're in jamaica you are in chile you are in any country in europe and so on and so forth you can just watch this video and book your online u.s appointment all right guys to book for your u.s visa appointments from any country of your choice whether you reside in nigeria you reside in the philippines you reside in jamaica you reside in bangladesh you reside in pakistan you reside in israel you reside in chile you reside in any country of the world there is a site in which you can just do what go to and fill your appointment with the embassy the u.s embassy in your country all right so let me type this site then go and commence with the first step all right guys once you type this on your computer that's cgi federal you just click on continue all right then it will bring you to this page then you will see apply for a u.s visa before you fill this appointment date guys you might have started filling your ds1 60 form or you might have completed it then another thing is if you were able to pay for your u.s application fee from a bank fine if not even at this stage you will be required to pay all right so ensure that you have your uh, u.s visa application number as you were filling the ds1 system form because the application number is going to be required as you are booking for an appointment with the embassy all right so you just click on apply for a u.s visa that's the first option all right it will bring you right to this page so this platform this page is the page where you apply and you'll be able to select the country of your choice so the exemption of filling jamaican u.s embassy appointment nigerian u.s embassy appointment chile u.s embassy appointment and so on and so forth will be exempted you just come to this page there is an option for you to choose the country of your choice as you can see i have already registered all i need to do is to log in but what if you want to book your appointment for the first time you have not yet created an account with them you need a user account so just look at registered users all right for you to do what for you to book an appointment you need to register as a new user so if this is your first time on this site click on new user so you click on new user and wait for this page to display as you can see select country there is new user registration all right you need to provide all your information here the country here is algeria but you may not be an algerian so all you need to do is to click here you see australia you see austria 
you see Bahrain, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Burkina Faso, Cambodia, China, Costa Rica, Cote d'Ivoire, Zech Republic, Denmark, Dominican Republic, Egypt, El Salvador, Estonia, Fiji, Finland, Gambia, and so on and so forth. So you keep scrolling down keep scrolling down you see georgia germany ghana guatemala haiti honduras hong kong hungary india indonesia japan jordan kazakh kazakhstan korea kuwait laos latvia lebanon liberia lutinia and so on and so forth La uh, malaysia moldova mongolia and so on and so forth scroll down to your own country so i'm going to be filling this appointment with the u.s embassy in nigeria all right so using u.s embassy nigeria as an example you just do it for the purpose of this tutorial you just click on it then you provide your user email guys so this is the user email i used uh you can provide another email all right so fill in your email then you fill in the password choose a password of your choice now you have to understand uh your first name your first name as it is in your international passport your last name as it is in your international passport then your password and you confirm the password the password you are registering for as a new user is different from the password you use in your email you can use the same thing or you can choose a different uh, uh, password but you need to understand that the password you will be choosing to operate with on this side is something that you do what something that you will easily remember don't choose a password that you may forget all right it is very important the password you're going to choose must be something you will recall all right so once you fill in your uh, credentials here and your password and confirm password you just scroll down and you click on this app right and understood the privacy policy you check on this box like this then you come down here and write and type the characters you see here once you type the characters you submit when you submit an account will be created for you if you don't want to go right ahead to log in you do what you can log out at that point so now let us see i have my email here and i already have my password here that's if you want to log in now as a new user all right you have your email you have your password all you need to do is to check on this box you are now logging in as an old time user you already have an account all right you're not a new user so you can type these characters and then you click login once you click login you will be brought to this page once you are on this page what you're going to do is to go to new application schedule appointment i tell you guys just to find this website if you don't know that it is just a few letter words you will type to find this website you can keep on typing the wrong things or even watching some youtube videos that you will keep on seeing other information that does not even direct to the website and you may find out that it is easier for you to find other countries than to find other countries all right now click continue then you will see the disclaimer read this carefully and ensure you have filled your ds160 form click ok and click continue 
then you'll be brought here select the location in which you want to be having the appointment for in, in Nigeria for instance you can choose Abuja or Lagos and click continue then once you click continue wait for this page all right then this page will lead you to where you'll be selecting the exact type of visa you are applying for is it a student visa is it a tourist is it a visitors visa click the type of visa and click continue all right then wait for the next page to display now that you are here you will see the explanation about the type of visa you have clicked to read and ensure that you really know what you are doing then once you understand it you scroll down all right then choose the type of visa in this case it's pleasure and business visa or tourist and business visa click it then you scroll down and click on continue all right it will take you to the next page once you are on the next page you are going to read the terms and conditions of paying for your visa fee there are some information you will need to provide so you can go through this and accept terms and conditions before you continue to the to the next page so now you are going to be feeling strong on some criteria like uh, the passport number you are going to be filling the issuance date of the passport you feel the expiring date of course the country has been selected already so they already know that the country is nigeria so once you have given your passport number your issuance dates and expiring date you scroll down then you give your name your your first name your last name you will give your country of base and your gender then there is uh, you also fill in the ds160 form application number you know when you were filling your ds160 which is the non immigrant visa form you were given an application number so once you fill it you scroll down then you fill your you provide your phone numbers after providing the phone numbers you scroll down again you're going to be typing the address in which you can be emailed all right then after typing the address you will choose the city of that address the state and also fill in the postal code so ensure that every information you provide here is a valid information don't provide information that are different from your passport information right it will affect you if you do so so you go ahead guys type in all these credentials then scroll down and what and you continue to the next page right so now i'm going to be typing my my address <coughs> that's my mailing address after which i'll type out the other credentials then i'll move to the next page so guys after filling the criteria then you go ahead and click continue it to bring you to this page this page is where you have the sites that's the locations and the 
amount which you will be paying for DHL so it carries the locations of DHL office you are going to be selecting the state or the city which you will be picking up the passport of course I used Abuja as an example then the city is going to be in the central district area of Abuja then once you select the location that's the country or city in which you'll be picking up your passport in the, the city then you go ahead and click on continue as, as you click on continue you wait for the next page to display all right once the next page displays like this you are going to be reading everything that you need to read about the fee because you're going to be paying a visa application fee to get the application it's not free you may feel it before paying for it but be rest assured that when you want to book an appointment they must ask for your visa application receipt number so this is why it is important to always pay there is a video on how to pay for your visa fee but you can also go to any bank or gt bank to do work to pay for your visa registration uh, fee and ensure that you keep the paper or the document safe you are going to be needing it even on the day of the interview so now that we've been brought to this page after clicking next we have the appointment date here so you can just select the a, a day in a month and do what guys and schedule your appointment and you will be done done subscribe to machine our channel if you think this video was helpful like and share with your loved ones all right